The science fiction and fantasy genre is one of my favorite genres to write. It gives us a large universe to pull from and allows you to be very creative. As with the other lectures, this area is these lectures are here for you to help decide on what type of story you want to tell by the end of the quarter. And then you want to go ahead and, for each of your assignments, go ahead and study science fiction and fantasy genres if this is what interests you. First of all, science fiction and fantasy really revolve around the question of what if, or the magic of what if. What if an alien came to our planet? How would we react? What would we do? War of the Worlds looks at that. What if all of a sudden we're attacked by aliens and what are we going to do? How are we going to survive? The Matrix. What if we're just plugged into a computer program? How would we react? What would r the resistance be like? Uh, so the what if is a very simple uh, pause and very expansive. You can look into it in a lot of different ways. The mentor also has an important role in the science fiction or fantasy genre. Think of uh, Morpheus in the Matrix or Obi-Wan in Star Wars or Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings films. The mentor is there to help guide and teach the hero. It's Obi-Wan telling Luke about the Force, it's Morpheus telling Neo about the Matrix and, and teaching him how to use his abilities. The mentor is someone that needs to be in a science fiction or fantasy story because when you look at most science fiction or fantasy stories, it's almost the evolution um, of a child into adulthood. The hero's powers can range from having a weapon to intelligence to a good heart. Um, obviously, Luke uses the Force. Neo is able to distort and use the Matrix as he sees fit. Frodo in, in The Lord of the Rings has just an, a heart of gold where he just wants to do this. He knows he has to do this. Technology can also be seen, seen as the shadow or the villain. Um, the Matrix is a prime example of where technology is the shadow. It's technology that is, it has gotten us to the point we're at. The Terminator is another example of that, where technology is the villain or the bad guy. Some basic science fiction storylines, um, there are typically three or so storylines per genre, but in science fiction, we have three. Uh, we have the first one, an ordinary hero enters a fantastic world. The hero can enter an imaginary or fabled world like in The Wizard of Oz. A lost civilization based on earthly reality could be discovered like in Journey to the Center of the Earth, or the hero could stumble across a porthole or create a time machine like in Back to the Future. Another one, another typical science fiction or fantasy storyline is a fantastic being enters the hero's world. This creature may be stuck in the hero's world and the journey involves finding a way back for the creature. For an example, E.T. The creature could arrive to accomplish an intended quest, like in War of the Worlds, or pull the hero into its world, like in Close Encounters of the War Third Kind. The third storyline is that the hero exists within a fantastic world, armed with the awareness of its science and mythology. The hero must solve a problem, embarking on a quest that leads to great wonders. For example, Star Wars, The Matrix can also be seen under this. These quest journeys often show a hero seemingly manipulated by greater powers of fate, gods, or magic. These stories also include space and travel adventures.